It is 2018, again at the beginning of the year, and we have to think about what the future will bring. We are investors, so we have to make up our mind, is this a good year to invest? Now, this is a question a lot of people ask themselves, and unfortunately, nobody can answer it correctly. I remember reading Peter Lynch, the Wall Street guru, who said that they predicted over 10 years where the market would be in the next year, and they were wrong all the time. And when Peter Lynch says they, he means the top analysts at Wall Street. Whenever they thought it was a good year, it was a bad year. As a matter of fact, 87 was their most uh, bullish forecast. And the, the best year then actually was when they had the worst forecast. What people do is they look back and they see if 2017 was a very good year, well, 2018 is going to be roughly the same. So you hear very positive forecasts right now. As a matter of fact, if you go to the banks, they will all tell you this is going to be a good investment year. But I would like to tell you a little story. In the US, they made an analysis how good forecasts are, and they did the following. They asked experts to choose from different outcomes. Will the stock market grow by 10%? Will it stay flat? Or will it actually contract at 10%? And the experts had to answer. They had to choose 10%, zero, or minus 10%. And whenever somebody said it's going to grow 10%, they added a little uh, bar here until they had all the answers, let's assume, Right now, a lot of people would probably say it's going to grow by 10%, while very few would say it will actually contract by 10%, and maybe even less people will say it grows by 0%. This could very well be what happens right now. They did this over a long period of time. They asked again and again, and they always measured what people think, and then they looked what actually turned out to be true. And what turned out to be true was always the selection that was favored the least. So whenever a lot of experts said a certain option is less likely, it was the option that actually happened. This about forecasting. It is extremely difficult to forecast the future. So what do I do? Well, I have to invest in 2018 and I do the same as in 2017. I keep investing my retirement savings every, every period at a time every month, every week, depending on how often you want to invest your portfolio, because I cannot predict if this year is going to be as bad I expected last year to be, or if this year is as good as last year actually was. This is my decision. I wish you good luck with your decision.